today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Matthew. Saint Matthew, the patron of tax collectors and of bankers, was a collector of custom duties for King Herod Antipas at Capernaum when our Lord called him to follow him. Also known as Levi, the publican, he was so overjoyed at his new calling that he spread a great feast in his home for the master and his disciples, even inviting his fellow tax collectors. Jesus, to the amazement of the Pharisees, comfortably dined with the very people the leaders of Israel despised as extortionists and traitors and would not even think of ever eating with them. Beyond these few facts, hardly anything is known about the life and the death of this apostle. Levi, the son of Alphaeus, obviously had a certain amount of education, for he knew Aramaic as well as Greek and was accustomed to writing. The name Matthew was probably given to him by Christ himself. He was one of the first apostles to be chosen to set down in writing the essential events of our Lord's life and discourses as he himself had witnessed them and as they were being orally taught by all the apostles. In fact, it is generally assumed that when writing his gospel, Matthew had before him his own collection of our Lord's discourses in Aramaic. This original text, however, has unfortunately disappeared. Matthew's gospel was produced not so much as a complete biography of Christ, but as a means of consolidating the faith of Jewish Christians who were still exposed to strong Judaic influences and of persuading his still unconverted fellow Jews. For this reason, using his gift of storytelling and writing in Aramaic, the language widely used as the lingua franca by the Jews and others in the time of Christ, he groups together all acts and precepts of a similar nature and stresses particularly that Jesus completely fulfilled all the familiar prophecies concerning the Messiah. Saint Matthew, whose relics are said to have been found in Salerno in 1080, is believed to have been martyred by stoning.